Hey everyone, I decided to make another video on our Zerain Gaming Extra channel and this video is opening this bad boy. Now, since I got the PlayStation 1, I've been a massive Tomb Raider fan. It was the first game that I ever got on my PlayStation 1 and I've played them all since then and I've been a massive fan and I asked you guys on Facebook, if you're not following our Facebook yet, you can follow it at facebook.com forward slash Zerain Gaming. And I asked you guys if I should do a walkthrough or a playthrough of me playing the new Tomb Raider game that came out today. So, you guys said yes, I should. And it got quite a few likes as well. A couple of hundred, I think. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating. I don't think so. I think it did get quite a lot. And I asked what... I should play it on. Now, a lot of people said Xbox and PlayStation. Uh, PC, I think, came last. But I did, in fact, buy it on PC. Firstly, because it was cheaper. Secondly, because um, I can use the Xbox controller. And thirdly, the main one is I'm hoping the graphics will be a lot better on PC. Um, I can turn them up, etc. So this video is just going to be me opening this. To see what's inside it. So it's quite a nice little box look. Um, I honestly thought the tin was going to be a lot smaller. Um, it's a survival tin apparently. So I should easily be able to survive the world of Tomb Raider with this. Um, I literally just got off the phone to Andre. I was on the phone to him going, where the hell is my package? Where the hell is it? And then a, a lorry, well a van turned up. And out of it came a little old lady, and I was like, oh my god, Andre, oh my god, it's here! Because I'm so excited to play this game. What the hell was that noise? And then it turned out that the little old lady wasn't actually delivering it, and it was for some, someone else. So, now, I don't often buy PC games, I don't, but since I got my new computer a few months ago, I'm actually able to, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get the collector's tin, because I, I don't normally get the collector's crap, because normally it's overpriced, and it's a load of rubbish. But the reason I wanted to get this one was, because I've been such a long Tomb Raider fan, I think it was, I um, can't remember which Tomb Raider it was, but it came out on a demo, and I played the demo for hours and hours, and oh man, it was just awesome. So the first thing, I should really, really film what's, what's in the tin, shouldn't I? So this is the tin, I've just opened it up. There was a picture on the front of it, like this, which is quite nice. It's like a ship, a little boat. Um, and inside we've got like this little doll, which is really cool actually. Let's get her out and... Uh, Wow, my own Lara Croft figurine. Oh my word. Her arms are moving, look. Hello, Danny. My name is Lara Croft. Will you play with me? Will you play? I am doing karate. My knee is bent. This is actually a really good figurine. I can't believe it. It's freaking awesome. I've got my own little Lara Croft. Incredible. Wow. So if I make her stand up. So inside this thing, underneath where she was, there's something at the back, I think it's got like a little instruction manual um, and it's got a bow and arrow which is quite cool. Normally she uses guns, I'm not too sure how this story goes in this game. So we got a cool little, um, oh she's got guns, she's got guns, I mean I expect her to use guns anyway but She's got like an axe, a shotgun, a pistol, and some hands, which is quite interesting. And then here she's got a massive great big arrow and a cool little bow, which is quite neat. I can't, I can't wait to fire that. Wow. And I'm actually really happy I got this because I got it on PC as well. 
The collector's edition PC version came to about the same price as the actual uh, Xbox PlayStation version. And then inside the rest of the box, it's just this, which is the actual game itself, the survival edition. So the 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 only thing that comes different with the collector's tin is the doll and the actual tin itself. The the actual game is the survivor's edition, which is lovely. I love this. I can't believe it. I've got to install this and play it as soon as I can. I'm going to try and get the first episode up as quickly as possible. And... Uh, as I'm going to New York next week, I want to try and record and complete, if not all of it. I don't know how long the game is. I haven't I haven't been re reading too much about it because I want it to be a surprise. I've only watched like a couple of trailers because I wanted it to be a surprise. So I've just uh, here we go. We're opening the box. You can tell I'm really bad at um, unboxing things because I forget to show what's actually inside the box. So inside we've got this, uh, the first thing is, what the hell is this? It's like some weird, it's a weird rubbery, oh crap. Well, it's something. I honestly have no idea what it is. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. What the hell is that? Then in the the second thing in the box is a cool little art book, I believe, which is quite neat. The the game graphics, etc., look amazing. So the art book is going to be pretty nice as well. Um, so that's quite neat. Let's see if there's any cool pictures that I might like. Um, maybe a nice... Oh, that's a nice one. It's like an island, like Survival Island, only it looks better than Survival Island. So there's a nice little art book in there, which I can... Well, not read, because it's pictures, but maybe look at, you know. Then in here, we've got this thing. I think this is just a big map, which I'll probably put on my wall. Oh no, it's a poster. Oh yeah, it is a map. It's a map on one side, and on the back it's got... Oh yeah! It's got Lara Croft. I'm going to lay that down there. I'm not going to fold it back up because I want to spend some time doing that. The next bit is a special code, which gives me ten tracks, etc. and some... It gives a special bonus, 10 tracks composed by Jason Graves. So I can't show that because it's got code on it, obviously. And the last thing in this epically luscious box um, is... Oh, hang on. It says on the back what that thing was. Survival Edition Contents. The full game. Double-sided island map and poster. The art book. 10 downloadable tracks. Hitman Absolution Weapons Pack. Hitman's a different game. If I didn't have Hitman, I wouldn't be able to use the weapons pack. Luckily, I do. Um, and a protective survival pouch. So this is a, a pouch that you put stuff in, I guess. How the hell do you get inside it? It's like, it like, it's so weird. All right. Okay, so basically it's got one, two, three kind of closing zip things here. 
I don't know why it's got so many. I guess it's because it makes it waterproof. So I can literally put something in here and tie it round me and go for a shower, like my phone, and it'll be it'll be waterproof, I'm hoping. And then you just do up the top like so and hang it up. It, it, yeah. It's quite nice. And then uh, the last thing is the actual game. So which looks lovely. Now, I guess inside it's just going to be like a regular, any other game, you know. Going to have a disc, and it's going to probably have a book, like a little instruction guide. Now, I'm going to be playing it on the PC, obviously, and I'm going to be using the Xbox controller. The reason I'm going to be using the Xbox controller is because I think for a game like this, I'll perform better. On a controller, so there's just the inside. Nice little booklet and disc. And I think underneath the booklet, there is a downloadable content code or something. Hitman weapons pack and stuff like that. So, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I can't wait to uh, put Lara. I just couldn't resist. I mean, Lara as a character, she's extremely, extremely hot. I know she's not real, but who cares? And, uh, you know, she's been one of my favourite all-time video game characters. So when I saw that you got a little doll, I just thought, I've got to do it. So thank you for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And comment your thoughts and opinions below. If there's a video you'd like me to do next, maybe, I don't know, about anything. Maybe a topic you want me to talk about or something you want me to show you. Be sure to comment it below and I will have a look at them. And thank you very much for watching this video. I'm now going to go and play this shit.